about what are researchers learning about the coronavirus, how it lives, how it spreads, and the role we all play in helping it spread. Action News Now Morning anchor Julia Yarbo took that question to Stanford professor Dr. Michael Lynn. He's a neurobiologist and one of the leading researchers working on the coronavirus. Is this virus alive? Is it not? How do we get rid of it? And if we say that it's not alive, how do we kill it? And if it's not alive, how does it live on a surface? Yeah, those are great questions. Um, viruses kind of live in this gray zone between living and dead. Um, they're alive in the sense that they can reproduce, um, but they depend on the host. Um, so it's best to think of them as a parasite. Um, they're, you know, they're parasitic um, things that will reproduce inside a person. Because the virus can reproduce in people, um, you know, it will, it will grow to large numbers and each infected person can infect potentially many more. So we have cases of you know, super spreaders who have infected 70 people. And so that's a huge, that's a huge increase in the number of infections that can happen from um, a single person. On average, the virus tends to infect two or three other people before the patient um, is healed. Um, and so that, that number, however, is, is still a big number because if each person infects two or three others, then we get into this um, this rapidly escalating number of cases um, over time. So it's very important to practice social distancing uh, so that um, we can break this chain of transmission. If we don't, um, projections show that 50% of the population can be, become infected um, by, by June. That's how rapidly the, the virus spreads. Dr. Lin says the positive aspects of the coronavirus, well, he says it hasn't, uh, it's not one that mutates quickly, and that really does give researchers time to figure it out and how it works. He also says it doesn't live for very long if it doesn't have a host.